Wayne Madsen is going to be joining us in the second hour for th three of the segments. Uh, Wayne did work at the National Security Agency. He's testified to Congress before about illegal spying over a decade ago. Uh, and Wayne was in a big London Guardian article yesterday that got pulled from the Guardian and the Observer, one of the biggest uh, group of publications in the UK. It got pulled, and then at the same time, they even went into the Google system, which I've never seen before, and took it out of the Google Wayback Machine. Uh, in fact, if we punch up my middle computer, uh, folks can see it there if you're watching on PrisonPlanet.tv or InfoWars.com forward slash show. We now offer the radio show free to everybody while we can pay for the bandwidth. Then subscribers get the nightly news and all the films, the rest of it. Our goal is just to get the word out, period. And that's why we're putting that out so people can actually see it if you're a radio listener. Uh, but shocking NSA scoop on Saturday. Uh, the Guardian revealed a major NSA scoop, then deleted it from their website. I saw this at the Business Insider this morning, posted up on InfoWars.com. So I called Wayne, and on his site, he has it archived. But other than that, it's gone. You click on the Google Wayback Machine, and I actually searched the article headline in a fresh search of their site. I clicked on this this morning, and it was there. It's now gone, ladies and gentlemen. That's the type of stuff that is going on. Now, continuing uh, here, look at it. There's the Wayne Madsen right there, revealed secret European deals to hand over private data to America. This has been known forever. Like, this has been declassified over and over again. That is called InfoPol 9, basically, over Europe. And it's the same grid. And they all share. And Europeans can then listen to us. So, see, the Europeans are out in the press going, how dare America, we would never put up with this. Uh, I saw an article two years ago where a guy was in France, and he said, man, this is the bomb going to this sporting event, and he was arrested. And then you've seen examples of Europeans coming over here and others saying, man, we're coming to America to tear the place down. And here comes the FBI. They're reading the emails, the text, listening. That is on record. They're only going after Snowden and people because they're saying it's morally wrong. So they're really going after their free speech. They're going after Greenwald's speech, interviewing somebody like Snowden and having David Gregory on NBC say arrest him. And it is disgusting. So there it is, revealed secret European deals to hand over private data to America. That's up on InfoWars.com. And then we're linked to a new article to Wayne Madsen um, putting out a report today uh, responding to all this. It is a big deal. You know, we tend to have Wayne on so much every few months. People think, oh, that's just Wayne Madsen. Folks, he worked at the NSA. He worked before that in Navy security. And he worked in the Naval War College. Uh, and he has testified to Congress. And he has the sources. And he's just, it's, it's just, it, but he's going after a European commission that admitted it a decade ago. And James Banford's book, 12 years ago, Body of Secrets, that exposed Operation Northwoods, among other things. So he'll be joining us. We've got all the other news first, though. We've got uh, reports out there right now that they're planning massive rioting. Boy, did that story go mega viral. Folks are planning that if um, Zimmerman doesn't get convicted. We'll be covering that and a lot more. Stay with us. Now you can watch Alex Jones live at InfoWars.com forward slash show. You'll find links to all of our content there and a free 15-day trial for Prison Planet TV. You can also browse the network, the InfoWars Nightly News. And over 60 movies and documentaries all together in one place. You can watch the Alex Jones Radio Show live as it happens. So check it out, InfoWars.com forward slash show. Waging war on corruption, crashing the lies and disinformation. I'm your host, Alex Jones, and we're live the 30th day of June, this Sunday, 2013. And we've got a very important pro-liberty transmission jam-packed with truth and decisive research coming up. So stay with us.
Again, folks, uh, coming up in the second hour, a real NSA insider, whistleblower, will be joining us, Wayne Madsen. A big cover story in the London Guardian slash Observer came out yesterday and was denoticed by the British government. They have national security declarations over there where they can shut the press down. Very authoritarian. Under the so-called U.S. government request, they have been slapping down scores of mainstream media reports about illegal spying and how Europe and the U.K. is working with the criminals that run our government to engage in this type of activity. And Wayne Madsen's story that was up on The Guardian, there was not an, a retraction. There was not a anything. It went out in the print edition of the newspaper nationwide and into Europe. It's one of the biggest English-speaking papers uh, in Europe, if not the biggest. It went out, but they removed it off of the online. And we have screenshots of it at the bottom of the article on Infowars.com. They removed it, and now... They have removed it from the Google uh, cache system that I've never seen Google remove something from its cache. So uh, that has all been disappeared, and we have links to that you can see up on Infowars.com. And exclusively, Wayne Madsen will be joining us. He's talked to the newspaper. It was the government, quote, putting pressure on them to remove it. But as Madsen pointed out over the phone, I said, well, wait, the stuff you talk about, you're smart. Uh, like Dr. Bob Bowman, the former head of the Star Wars program, the weaponized space system, uh, before that Colonel Bowman in the Air Force. You're smart, like that engineer and nuclear physicist Bob Bowman. He'll come on and talk about space weapons, but only what's been accidentally leaked by other people. Only what's been gotten out by the press in the past, he can come out and say what's accurate and what isn't. And he talked about on C-SPAN debating the current head of the Star Wars program in the late 80s. And the guy uh, got real angry with him and started releasing a bunch of classified stuff. And so he was then able to talk about that because uh, his former colleague got angry and was blurting it out. And, and, and the truth is, it's like General Petraeus, as the head of the CIA last year, now uh, defrocked, disgraced, kicked out in one of those interagency wars, was at a uh, technology conference put on by Wired Magazine, and he said, look, we got wireless internet looking through your walls. And he said, look, all your new appliances have microphones, cameras, your, your dishwasher's watching you, and of course we're listening to everything you're doing. But it's, 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 it's for your safety. So, because he was promoting it, from a perspective of this spying illegally is good for you and to keep you safe from the bad men, like we're two years old and, and really believe these fairy tales, then you don't go to jail. But if you're Edward Snowden and you come out and you say, hey, they're spying on everybody illegally, these are the programs that are in place, and I think it's terrible, and I can't go on living like this anymore. Then they've got to call you a traitor and an enemy and a piece of trash and say you've endangered America and, and get all sycophantic about national security when the globalists are the ones destroying our industry, our sovereignty, and our security. So I'm going to talk to the people out there like David Gregory of Meet the Press who with extreme uh, salivation, uh, had Greenwald of the Guardian on last Sunday and said, hey, you ought to be arrested. We played the clip last Sunday. You ought to be arrested. You know, maybe you should be arrested. Uh, and I mean, this is so outrageous. The spying is illegal on record without warrants. This is part of the war on journalists. They're using the NSA on the Associated Press and on Fox News. They're arresting members of the State Department that talk to Fox News or to this show, for that matter. People go to the State Department, to the cafeteria, meet with them and go, what's your view as a top analyst on North Korea? Are they capable of, you think, really launching a nuclear weapon at Japan? 
well, yes, we think they, 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 they're crazy enough. They are unstable enough to do it. And we don't think they're planning to, but they are, they are dangerous. And we believe they have three weapons. I mean, that's in the newspaper. And they went and arrested that guy and are talking about charging the Fox News uh, head national security reporter. I mean, that was in the news a month ago. And then they take Snowden. There's a bunch of whistleblowers. There's been AT&T, NSA whistleblowers. There's been all, a ton of them. Uh, James Bamford interviewed a bunch of whistleblowers and brought out more than Snowden did 12 years ago in Body of Secrets. We interviewed him. And mainly what he did was go and dig through the National, uh, National Security Archives and then go and talk to retired people about what they could tell them about things in the archives. And mainly it was our so-called government shipping narcotics around the world, our so-called government running sex slavery, white slavery, our so-called government um, staging terror attacks to blame foreign governments and take American liberty. That came out in ABC News, by the way. James Bamford used to be the producer, the, the news director of Nightline. Oh, you didn't know they've declassified over 200 instances of the U.S. Army blowing stuff up to blame an enemy. I mean, this, and, and our military says, well, we do this because other people do. Yeah, I guess other people do. Operation Himmler was more than a dozen staged terror attacks to be blamed on Poland and countries like that to start World War II. I guess Operation Himmler did really work well for a while. So this is the type of stuff I deal with and that we all deal with when we're informed is hearing other talk show hosts literally salivate on air going, Richard Snowden or uh, Edward Snowden uh, you know, is a traitor uh, and all these people need to be arrested and we need to go after them and and we need to, to go after people that try to hurt America and all this business. He didn't give out ICBM information. He didn't give out cruise missile information. He didn't give out how many knots an aircraft carrier can move or steam, as they call it, even though it's nuclear powered, they call it steam. I guess they call it cruise now. He didn't give out uh, the, the, the classified speed of an Abrams M1A1 tank. He, they didn't give any of that out. He came out and said, we are spying on everybody in the middle of a huge scandal where they were caught spying on the press and caught spying on the on the House cloakroom and the Senate cloakroom where people go to eat their lunch. The Justice Department has stinking microphones planted in there. Totally illegal. Totally illegal. And all of this comes out, ladies and gentlemen, and we've known this before. MI6 has been caught spying on the British Parliament. The bureaucracies and the special interests that control them are out of control. And that's the big national security threat, is the 860 plus thousand private contractors with top secret and above top secret clearance, most of them foreign owned companies here in the U.S. who have access to all the NSA data. Snowden worked for a private company. It happened to be American. The point is these are globalists that have taken over. They're dialed into all this, and they're really using it for unfair trade advantage against companies that aren't on the inside scoop. It'd be like having a bug in your competition's office. Okay, we're going to come back and break down the latest on the NSA scandal and a bunch of other news. The important thing about the Pro One filter today is that the material we use for removing fluoride and other heavy metals now will remove the latest form of fluoride called hydrofluorosilicic acid. There's no other fluoride reduction filter out there that will remove that type of fluoride. And it's extremely important because Today, we're hearing more and more cities are using that form of fluoride. We've been having medication forced on us through the water system for quite a while. Most people don't realize it. Most people don't realize the negative effects of fluoride. There's a wide range of health effects that are attributed to fluoride. Bottom line, why should somebody get this new Pro One Pro Pure filter? The reason to buy the Pro One, it's an all-in-one filter. It's 
convenient, easy to use. It doesn't require the add-on fluoride filter. And in addition, this filter removes the latest form of fluoride called hydrofluorosilicic acid. You think you've got private lives, folks? Think nothing of the kind. There is no true escape. Big Brother's watching all the time. The only escape is not being intimidated by all this and standing up to the criminal interest that have hijacked our nation and restoring our republic. Now, I want to get into a bunch of important crime news, uh, the bizarre statements of Alec Baldwin, just because it shows the hypocrisy of the authoritarian left, as I call them. We're going to get into U.S. military buildups, uh, not just in Jordan, but also in Israel by Gaza. And it's not even really getting any press here in the U.S. I mean, it's in Reuters, it's, it's in France 24 on their national TV. But it, uh, I've been monitoring TV and press here. There's very little coverage of it. It's a it, it's big deal. Here's the headline, Jordanians suspicious about U.S. military deployment. Uh, the government, it says, is the U.S. had a drill there and then a month ago and then refused to leave. It's pretty bizarre. Uh, so we're going to be looking at that. Uh, we're going to be, again, in-depth looking at the NSA. But here's what I want to get across to everybody. We've all heard stories and seen convictions in news where 20-year-old companies, 150-year-old companies, 200-year-old companies, in some cases in Europe or older, where the CEO or the CFO or the president of the company or a managing director gets caught doing something illegal with the company, robbing thousands of people or overcharging millions or cheating or sh using company transport to ship in drugs. You've all seen countless articles and stories like that in the press. There's a lot of examples of it. It doesn't mean that everyone in the company is a criminal. It doesn't mean everybody that works for the organization is bad. When you get a bunch of people in a company operating as criminals, then you can call it organized crime. And when you look at our government, and many other governments. I mean, most people will say, oh, well, most governments are corrupt and are tyrannies and are uh, oligarchies. Most governments are wildly corrupt and the police are oppressive and there's a surveillance state and there's checkpoints on the road and the police will rob you if they want or, or, or take blood from you at checkpoints. Or, and you start going down the list, you're like, wow, that's a lot of places in America. And anyone who's honest will tell you, America is declining culturally, spiritually, mentally in very, very many ways. And it's accelerating. And when you try to stand up against that decline, you get demonized by the mainstream media. And you get demonized by a lot of the politicos that are out there. Because they've got a lot riding on America going quietly into the night. They've got a lot riding on the people standing down. And really, all the New World Order is, is a private, global, corporate takeover. And Zbigniew Brzezinski and Carol Quigley and uh, Rothkop and Henry Kissinger and countless others have all written books. Uh, Helmut Schmidt, the German Chancellor, Men in Power is a political retrospective. There are countless books I've personally read where they announce their global corporate government and where they brag for 50, 60 years that they're above the law, they have diplomatic immunity, that the government ships in the narcotics, that the government runs every bad vice and that select corporate individuals make the money off of it. But it's good because they're altruistic and they're only running the criminal enterprises so that bad people don't get control of it. See, they're in control of it because they'll make sure that it doesn't hurt innocent people that didn't ask for it.
And, and what I'm giving you is the secrets of organized crime here. The mindset, the way it works, the way they think. And, and they all write books bragging how they're doing it and saying, hey, we're in control. We deserve to be in control. I've been approached by some of these guys on record and off record. And said, look, the public would tear you limb from limb. They don't want freedom. You ought to join us. Well, I don't believe that. With the culture they sell, the dumbing down, the, the, the uh, propaganda, uh, all of that, uh, undoubtedly. We have a decadent, wicked society, and the general public is a howling, dangerous mob of miscreants on average. But there is a large segment of society, and I think bordering on a majority, that is hardworking, smart, good, decent, but they're overwhelmed by the complexity of the world, overwhelmed by the magnitude of the corruption. And they believe that they'd have to be able to fix the whole world with one magic button or, or lever they throw. And that's not how the universe works. But simply put, the New World Order is a corporate hostile takeover of not just the U.S., but every other country in the world. It is 2,000 major companies, this is all mainstream news now, that have access to most of the NSA data. It is the Fortune 100, roughly, and Google and Microsoft and Apple and AT&T and Verizon, on record, that are the NSA. They have the data centers. They administer the government centers. But most of it's in their centers. And I told you this a decade ago. I told you this 17 years ago. Because it's all public. Wayne Madsen's coming on. He simply pointed to the Guardian. Here's the European Union Commission from a decade ago admitting this. When, they, when James Bamford's book came out on the NSA, the former head producer of Nightline, here's all the documents. Here's the name of the programs. Here's how they do it. Here's how they run it. And they shut that article down after less than 24 hours and even took it off Google Cash, folks. And you know why they did? Because Wayne Madsen just walked out and said, the emperor has no clothes. This is all public. This is in the Telecommunications Act of 96 in the U.S. This is in your Telecommunications Acts of 1997, 2003 in Europe. And they totally freaked out, ladies and gentlemen. You see, they like it when Snowden's running and scared because they can then act like he did something wrong and get everybody to buy into it and call the guy a traitor when he is a hero. And they can have others call him a double agent. That guy's not a double agent. He's a double agent of the globalist. He's not like Lee Harvey Oswald they sent to Russia to defect or something. I've studied it. I know it. I'm, I've seen every angle. He's one of many people that tried to get away from this evil who they decided to pick as a cutout to then make the double agent by demonizing him and trying to scare everybody. And, and tell you, yeah, we're listening to you. And yeah, we torture people. And yeah, we ship in the drugs. What you gonna do about it? You see? Now, I'm done talking about that to the next hour. Okay, we're live, it's Sunday right now, 30th day of June, 2013. When we come back, I'm gonna get into a bunch of key news. Viewers have demanded it, so now you're gonna get it. More pro Second Amendment gun shows in the month of June. What we've learned is you cannot hide behind an I beam when there's a 50 cal present. Brothers in Arms, 50 cal ammo review and more coming in the month of June to the InfoWar.